Hello viewers and welcome to JG World. In today's lesson, we shall be talking about our solar system, its composition, and some very interesting facts about it. Please, do subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you in the end find its content very educative. The solar system. Our solar system is a framework which consists of the sun, other stars, the eight planets and their moons, asteroids, meteoroids, and other celestial bodies in space. The solar system was formed about 4.5 billion years ago from a dense cloud of interstellar gas and dust. With the sun and its enormous gravity at the center of a system of dust and gases, matter farther out collided and clumped together to form planets and moons. In the case where planets were not created, remnants left from the formation of the solar system created an asteroid belt. This asteroid belt contains leftover pieces of rocks that later became asteroids, meteoroids, comets, and irregular moons. Our solar system is found on an outer spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. A galaxy is a vast collection of gas, dust, and billions of stars and their systems all held together by gravity. There are three main types of galaxies, according to American scientist Edwin Hubble. They are spiral galaxies, elliptical galaxies, and irregular galaxies. Spiral galaxies Spiral galaxies are twisted collections of stars, gases, and dust with very beautiful shapes. The stars in this galaxy are mostly hot, young, and shine brightly as they burn. Elliptical galaxies, unlike the spiral galaxies, have rounded shapes containing very old stars which are unable to shine brightly. The class of galaxies that do not fall in any of the two categories mentioned earlier are the irregular galaxies. They have no distinct shapes and are often violent, having close encounters with other galaxies. At this point, I will entreat you to like and subscribe to the channel as I will be presenting some very interesting facts about the solar system at the end of this video. You don't want to miss out. There are 8 planets, previously 9 in the solar system. Before we move on, what are planets? What are the features that define and categorize a body in space as a planet? So, a planet, as defined by the International Astronomical Union, is a body which orbits the sun without being a satellite to another body, large enough to be rounded by its own gravity and has cleared its neighborhood of most debris and other orbiting bodies. Based on these features, we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune as our planets. The first four of the eight planets are referred to as terrestrial planets. This is because they have rocky surfaces. The last four are sometimes called Jovian planets due to their size relative to the terrestrial planets. They contain mostly gases such as hydrogen, helium, and ammonia. There are reasons why Pluto isn't considered a planet any longer. The first is that the size and mass of Pluto is very small compared to the other eight planets and it has very low temperatures as well. In the pursuit for a ninth planet, scientists have allegedly discovered a planet called Planet X which is believed to be about 5,000 times the mass of Pluto. Second, 
Pluto has an offbeat orbit. Its orbit is very strange and has unusual characteristics. It has a highly inclined orbit at an angle of 17 degrees. This means that Pluto does not orbit within the same plane as the rest of the other eight planets. It sometimes switches places with Neptune to orbit closer to the Sun. Pluto will make its first full orbit since its discovery on Monday, 23rd March, 2178. Another reason why Pluto isn't considered a planet any longer is because it does not clear its neighborhood of debris. It shares a space with lots of other objects unlike the other eight planets. In our solar system, we may find comets. Comets are icy bodies in space that release gas or dust and make orbits around the sun. Much more like snowballs in appearance, they contain carbon dioxide, ammonia, methane, carbon monodioxide among others in its core, which is chiefly made up of ice and dust. Have you ever wondered why comets usually have long tails attached to their cores? The reason is that radiation from the sun turns the ice on the surface of comets into gas, forming what is called a coma. Dust particles are then pushed away by the sun from the coma, forming a long tail of dust. Another closely related body to a comet is a meteor. Meteors are pieces of rocks and dust that burn up in the atmosphere and create streaks of light in the night sky as they move. Meteoroids that enter the atmosphere in most cases burn up completely due to their high speed and frictional heating from the object's collision with molecules in the atmosphere. It is essential to understand that the rocks in space that make their journeys towards the Earth's atmosphere are referred to as meteoroids. When these rocks penetrate into the Earth's atmosphere, burning and producing streaks of light, they are called meteors. Meteors that are able to survive the journey through the atmosphere and hit the ground successfully are referred to as meteorites. Amongst the space materials found in the solar system are asteroids. Asteroids are airless rocks from space that are thought to be the remains left from the formation of the solar system. They are sometimes called minor planets or planetoids because most asteroids in space are gaining the status of dwarf planets. They are found in a belt between Mars and Jupiter orbiting around the Sun. The average temperature of the surface of most asteroids is known to be minus 73 degrees Celsius. It is interesting to note that the total mass of all asteroids in space is less than that of the Earth's moon. That being said, let's take a quick look at some facts about the solar system. The largest object in the solar system is the Sun. It contains 99.8% of the system's mass. The Sun is made up of 92.1% hydrogen, 7.8% helium, and is held by its own gravity. The core of the Sun is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, that is, about 15 million in degrees Celsius. Our solar system orbits the center of the Milky Way galaxy at about 828,000 kilometers per hour. Planets in our solar system hold more than 150 moons in their orbits. Finally, it takes our solar system about 230 million years to complete one orbit around the galactic center. 
This brings us to the end of today's video. Kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you were educated. You can as well give a comment or a suggestion in the comment section with regards to this video. Goodbye.